Hi guys, welcome back here. Kyrie the Gamer. Today we will be uh, doing overclocking on um, basically a Q6600. Two fans, 500 watt power supply, uh, NVIDIA 750Ti, and 4 gigs of RAM. Now, basically, we're running here Far Cry 3 Red Dragon at 74 frames per second and on high settings. Completely stable, been running this game for so, some time, some time now. Around an hour. It's completely stable. Now, after running that, let's check how stable it was. Core temp right now was it's at 45, 40, 40, 43. Uh, max setting was at 60, 60, 59, 55. So 60 degrees Fahrenheit was the max setting. Running on a Cooler Master T4. Great uh, air air cooled system running at 3.3 gigahertz. Uh, this uh, a Q6600, uh, which stock is at 2.4. We're running at 3.3. I try to I try to run it at 3.4, but for, but for some reason it's not stable. It's stable. You you can play the game for around 15 minutes, 10, but then it'll just crash and it'll shut down because it's not stable. But Running at 3.3 is stable. This is a uh, 3.3 and 22, so it's uh, 3,322 megahertz. Uh, basically, to get all these settings took me a long time. So, why don't we restart the PC and show you guys uh, the settings on the BIOS menu on how to overclock it? Now, guys, after it boots up. Start tapping the uh, Dell or the period key. Keep on tapping it and stop. Now we will go to systems information so y'all can see. 3.3, oh well, 3339 megahertz, which is the 3.3 gigahertz. Uh, stock is 2.4, but I'm running at 3.3. Uh, so it's a uh, 0.9 of a gigahertz, which is a lot, almost one. But I, I can do it, but it's not stable. E e and I don't want to. I could probably do it, but I don't want to add that much voltage into the uh, CPU. All right. So basically, uh, the first thing to do uh, when you're gonna overclock. Come to advanced settings, uh, or if you don't have the type of motherboard that I have, I have an um, Asus uh, P5Q to, from 2008. Um, code uh, CPU configurations. Hit enter there. Here it will say all your CPU. See, I'm clocked at 3.3 gigahertz right now. Bus speed, yeah. There we go. Now, all this is going to be enabled, disable all this. They just disable it. Disable all this. Disable all that. Escape. Go back to AI uh, tweaker. Now, change the AI overclocker tuner to manual. CPU uh, ratio setting. Uh, just put 8. Uh, just key in 8 like this. Let me show you. 8. Like that. And hit enter and it'll put it automatically for you now I'm running it uh, FSB frequency at 415 uh, play with this around start at 400 if it's not stable for that I guess go lower because your CPU can't handle all that or your other board um, I started at 350 because for some reason it, it was not stable at 400 because voltage but I worked on it for around four hours I got it just right 415 um, I'll show you guys my, my voltage in a sec. We got uh, bus frequency 450. Oh, dang, sorry. PCI frequency 100. I haven't messed with that yet. 
So just keep that. That's for your graphics card. Uh, keep it at 100. That's the stock. You can mess with it later. Uh, DDR2. Um, I put it on the last setting. So let's see how it runs. Um, now DRA and timing control. Put that on manual. Then scroll all the way down. Leave all this on auto. Now. Uh, the Q677 no more voltage uses 1.2 so just up it to 1.3 um, volts just put in 1.3 enter now keep on going down now for this uh, DRA and voltage put 1.9 and leave everything on auto that's basically all you have to do all you have to mess is with the voltage and this and Exit and enter. PC should power off. There we go. We're not power off completely, but should restart. So, uh, 3.4 was stable sometimes, sometimes it wasn't. So, just uh, I ran mine at 3.3 in that. It's just being slow. Um, and that is basically how I uh, did my thing. Um, once it loads in, I will show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, guys, just powered on. You grab your handy dandy mouse, um, move it around the screen. Just powered it on, so sorry if it's slow. All right, um, which it should not be because it's I just built this PC. Um, let's see, what should we? Go to, um, these are really good apps to monitor your, oh, Steam. Alright. Interesting. These are really good apps to monitor your, uh, I will show you guys, um, your speed and, um, everything. Uh, and temperature. So, let's open up both of them. Give authorization. Yes. Now this should pop up a bit more. So we'll okay. Now you can tell right here. 3.3. What yeah, it's 3.3 right there. Running uh 1.280 volts. It's almost at uh the correct speed I, I want. Bus speed of 415. For some reason my memory DDR2 is running at 415, but yeah. Uh, I do have to get new RAM because my RAM is super old too. Uh, now open up a CPU HW monitor. Now this is a lot better because this will tell you the speed of uh, everything. Voltage right here. System CPU temperature. Uh, CPU PSU. CPU uh, right now is running at that much. And it tells you your max temperature you have reached uh, while you were using it. Uh, what you're using right now the value, the minimum, and uh, the max, same with the CPUs, In individually each core tells you uh, how much is being used of it, tells you your graphics card, temperature, fans, everything, really good system, check it out, free, both, both softwares are free, uh, CPU Z, and um, CPU, well, CPU ID HW monitor. Check those two systems out. Thanks for watching. Please stay tuned for the next video. Please like, subscribe, share. Um, stay tuned. I uh, build. I'm building this same PC on my YouTube channel. So please stay tuned. It's uh, basically $250 PC, uh, but. All the stuff that I added extra came that $320 PC. Uh, check it out. Really cheap PC, but plays awesome games at uh, really good frames per second. So, peace out soon. Thanks for watching. And as always, guys, stay tuned for more. The impossible is always possible. Kyrie the Gamer, out.